Hi, my name is Tim Schneider, and if you've ever dreamed about being a cowboy, am I at the ranch for you? Pioneer Town is a Western movie set town developed by TV cowboys Gene Autry, Roy Rogers. They built it as a production facility to make their Western film. Today we're at Bighorn Ranch, just near Pioneer Town. It's a 3,000 square foot ranch house that's been renovated by a native Texan who spent 30 years in Manhattan and decided to move west. It's got five bedrooms, it sits on 17 acres of land, and it's so big, it even has its own town. We have no time to waste, let's go start with the main house. As you walk in the front door, the very first place you walk into is this beautiful open air kitchen. And you can't be in the West without a wagon wheel chandelier. And right below the chandelier is this massive island for everybody to gather. It's lined with red bar stools to add a pop of color. And to bring a little bit of that New York flair, notice the shiny subway tiles that line the kitchen. And just off the kitchen, there's a little gathering nook that's filled with antiques and a fireplace all put together with today's design sensibilities. Let's go check out the living room. The part of the house that we're in now was an addition put on by the present owner. One of the great features about this room are the amazing floor to ceiling windows that makes you look out over the natural 25,000 acre preserve that this property borders on. It also includes the dining room, which is an all glass room that lets you see Joshua trees from every angle. And just above the dining room table, there's an installation that could have come straight out of the Metropolitan Museum of Art. And let's not forget about the built-in bookshelves that are filled with books of the Wild West. But the coolest part about this room is the swing that I'm sitting on right now, where you can sit, have a cup of coffee, and really appreciate where you are. Let's go see where you and your guests are gonna sleep tonight. Here we are in the Bighorn Master Suite, reminiscent of the old stagecoach days. The first thing you'll notice is the four poster bed accented with old ranch hand ropes. And on either side of the bed, you'll find two trunks as nightstands that you can put your treasures in. There's also a little nook in the master bedroom where you can have your privacy and get away to maybe write that Western novel you've always been thinking about. My favorite part of this room is the ensuite master bath. It features a beautiful clawfoot tub where you can sit and soak and look at the mountains and a huge walk-in shower that features the same subway towel as in the kitchen. And let's not forget about the antique hand-carved double sink vanity that amplifies the Western feel. But there's more master bedrooms, all with different themes. Let's go on to the next one. Welcome to another master suite. This particular suite the owner calls a room with a view, and there's a reason for that. There's floor-to-ceiling windows that lets you take in the vistas of the Sawtooth Mountains. The room is decorated in a sense of calm that gives you the feeling of relaxation and peace. Yet again, it has an ensuite bath, perfect place for a retreat. And now, off to the cowboy suite. This is the adult version of your childhood-themed Western bedroom. And the way it's decorated, it gives you a sense of hippie meets cowboy. Kind of like the 1870s meets the 1970s. We're gonna hit the town, but I have to go get my bandana and my hat because I can't let the locals see me without the proper attire. See you out there. Well, here we are, in town, to look at another one of the bedrooms. This one happens to be in a vintage converted train car that was made into a master suite with an ensuite bath. The rail car is one of my favorite places on this property. Imagine spending the night here. This is the real Wild West. It's got vintage blue walls, thick velvet curtains. There's reclaimed furniture that's been recovered in beautiful fabrics. And there's a map on the ceiling that's inspired by the surrounding mountains. All of this together gives you the feeling like you're in an old time parlor. Now let's head back out into town and really get into the thick of it. This town has it all. 
a sheriff's office, a jail, a barber shop, it's even got a hotel. But now, let's go to the saloon. The Grand Saloon here at Bighorn Ranch is where Gene Autry and Roy Rogers' Old West really comes to life. The owner has created an environment where the walls are covered with Western memorabilia, and the wagon wheel chandeliers create a real cowboy atmosphere. And the big bar with the tractor seat stools is a welcome sight after riding your horses on the trails of the land preserve. This intimate saloon can host a party of 10, 30, or 60. There's enough room for a band, food trucks, and a whole bunch of wannabe cowboys looking for a hoedown. Now that we've visited the saloon, let's go to church. While we're on our way to the chapel, I couldn't help but stop at Miss Lily's House of Negotiable Affection with fun ladies and hourly rates. Now let's go pray the day away. Here in the chapel, it's the closest place you'll get to heaven, right smack dab in the middle of the desert. Here, you'll find white barn wood adorning the walls, an organ for all of your hymns, and even your hers. A pew for a little internal reflection, and an intricate ceiling installation where the white doves meet the blue sky. This place is perfect for a wedding, or your next Western feature film. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really enjoyed showing you around. Now I'm gonna get on my horse and ride off into the sunset. This horse isn't gonna work. I'm gonna to have to find me a real horse. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like what you see on the show, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We have so much more to show you.